I have a Google Pixel 5a here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as videos and photos directly from your Pixel to a Chromebook. Doesn't matter what brand Chromebook you have, and we're going to be using the charging cable. So the first thing I want to mention is the charging cable that comes with your Pixel 5a is a USB-C to a USB-C. The thing is in my Chromebook, I don't have a USB-C or basically a Thunderbolt 3 uh, port, nor do I have one of those adapters. So my only option is to use a standard USB-A to a USB-C. Okay, so USB-A, I'm going to plug that into my USB port into my Chromebook. And then the USB-C port, I'm going to plug that into my Pixel 5a. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. Now, first thing is let me go ahead and log into my phone. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log in right there. Okay, now next thing is what you want to do is slide down notifications. So slide down notifications. And you should see this on the very bottom here. It says Android system charging this device via USB. Tap on this little down arrow. And then it says tap for more options. So we're going to tap on that. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on file transfer slash Android auto. Okay, so tap on that right there. And as soon as I tap on that, we should get a uh, files uh, folder that pops up here automatically. Okay, now if this doesn't pop up automatically, you may have to wait a little bit. But basically, the, uh, the files folder, if I click down here, it's right here. The, you can open that as well. Okay. Anyway, so I'm here, and also I'm talking about uh, downloading um, your photos and videos to the hard drive. I'm not talking about uploading it to Google uh, Cloud or anything, okay? So from here, once this uh, opens up here, if we look on the left pane here, we can scroll down here, and let me zoom in a little bit. Now we can see the Pixel 5a. They call it the Next Nexus slash Pixel MTP right here. So let me click on that right there, and now... All of your photos and videos are saved into the DCIM folder, okay? So let's double click on that. Let's double click on camera. And now you can see I have some uh, MP4s. Those are videos and JPEGs, JPG, these are, are um, photos. So from here, I mean, you guys, you know, this is not a Windows computer, so it's not like you can drag and drop like a video. I can't drag and drop on the desktop because if I do this, it's going to come right back down. Okay, so this is what you need to do to um, save it to your actual hard drive of your Chromebook. Uh, if you look here on the left side here, let me scroll all the way up. Now, under My Files, this is your hard drive right here. Okay, so what you want to do is make a new folder here. So I'll make a new folder here, new folder, and I'll just call it 5A right there. Okay, now anything I put into there is going to save onto the hard drive of my Chromebook. So for example, let me just copy the whole shebang. Let me copy this, select all of these, and I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder I called 5A. And let's go ahead and let that copy. It's copying. Give it a little bit there. Okay, it says uh, complete. And now, I mean, I can just go ahead and I can just disconnect my phone. Now, if I go to this folder here called uh, 5A, you can see all my photos and videos are right here. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right, good luck, guys. Bye.